Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and I apologise for making you wait until Friday by being teasing and putting a Zafira video in between this because the service on this was Monday and now this is Friday obviously that this is going up. In today's video we will be getting this bad boy started, I hope, because <laughs> I haven't got that far yet because we're just starting the recording. We've got all the stuff necessary to do it, I'll show you what we've got and then I'll sit you up on the tripod and we'll go through getting it, getting it started. So guys, it turns out that in the, in the service video I said about pre-filling this, it doesn't need to because if we squeeze the, the, the um, bubble just here, that will prime the fuel system up nicely and fill this bowl up. So this is all nice and tight. These are 4 mil hex on here. That's all done. As you would have seen in the last video, it's got its oil. It's got a start off for the, um, it's got the starting amount needed for coolant i might put some more in there actually now because it's already run around the system it's got its starting point for the power steering fluid and that's that done we've got some screen wash which isn't that important but we've done it we've got the um air box still apart and that's because when i do the first cranks i as you'll notice i haven't attached the glow plugs yet i'm going to make sure these are nice and loose so we've got no restriction and we are going to literally crack these off one at a time just to make sure there's fuel coming through to each point um, and then we'll then get the glow plugs all wired up and uh, then attempt to fire uh, actually properly with the glow plugs going um, we've got the battery installed I've just got to reconnect the negative because I left it disconnected um, we've got all the other bits and pieces like the screws and stuff to put the airbox back on we've got a second battery just in case we need it don't think we will but we'll with some jump leads and a booster pack the most important tool of all is a cup of coffee we've got all the other bits and pieces and there's the air box there so i'll set you up on the tripod and we'll get started with what we're doing so i've got a buddy in the car well ian you would have seen in the wednesday's video anyway um he's in the car he's going to crank it when i tell him to and turn it off when i tell him to um we have got the jump leads attached purely and simply because the battery that's on there will turn the engine over but just to make us perfectly capable of having plenty of time and plenty of space with uh, the power that's on there I'll put two batteries on just to give us a bit more cranking time and a bit more time to play with I am just putting an old t-shirt down there just to soak up any diesel spillage and we have squeezed this prime bubble into the point of where we can't squeeze any more out of it so that is primed right up now we need a 17 mil spanner crack this one loose crank it for us a couple of cranks in Stop. yep we've got fuel there that's fine we've got fuel at number one shouldn't take as long to get fuel elsewhere now Stop. right so there's fuel at Cylinder two. Right, we've got fuel there. And that's number four with fuel to the system. Lovely. So all four now have fuel running to the injectors. We know there's fuel going into the cylinders because it's going to the injectors. So that's stage one complete. Make sure this is all wiped down nicely. Now I'm going to put the glow plugs in. So glow plugs are in. I need to put this uh, link wire into the glow plugs. So all glow plugs will have equal amounts of power. Right, so we've got the fuel system bled up completely with fuel going to every single cylinder. That needs another wipe actually. And um, we've also got the glow plugs now installed and secured. And we've also got the wire, the link wire between the glow plugs and the main feed for the glow plugs. I've put the main feed for the glow plugs onto cylinder three glow plug because it doesn't really matter because the link wire just bridges all four together to get the same feed. So anywhere along that would be perfectly fine. I just found it easier to put it on cylinder three. So now we're at the point where we literally just want to crank her and see what she does as far as whether or not she'll fire on her own give her a few pre-glows just to make sure she's nice and hot on the glow plugs um, 
So I think we'll do the first start and uh, see how she turns out. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the third glow light and then I'm going to crank her up and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to glow her, turn her off, glow her, turn her off, glow her, turn, then start her. Third glow light, and now we'll start. And just as I thought it wouldn't be that easy, give her a little bit of a helping hand. on the chuggy side but she has got to get oil and fuel in there to every system so we'll just give her a little bit of chance to warm up and uh, see how she goes from there so as you can see she's not running now because i have turned her off but she will start up and switch off absolutely lovely she purrs like an absolute kitten um but there is one major drawback which I have noticed and I knew there'd be some teething issues so I'm pretty much going to end this video here and until uh, I can get a couple of O-rings as I was saying there is one major problem and that is literally if I can get down there looking at the bottom of the uh, vacuum pump there is an oil leak it's hard to tell because it's brand new clean oil but there is an oil leak coming from the vacuum pump and it has had new O-rings and new seals except it obviously didn't like that so i'm going to have to have the vacuum pump removed and um, a couple of new o-rings on there and find out what's going on there because it is leaking out quite bad to the point of where i have quite a puddle on my driveway but that isn't a big issue because like i said it is literally just a vacuum pump o-ring seal and there is a little bit of oil leakage which i've just sorted out from the oil filter so all in all not a bad run considering the, the um considering what this engine's been through and yeah i'm happy with it anyway even though we've still got a few issues a few teething problems as it were but um i've got a nip out somewhere so i'm going to wrap this video up here it does run but still needs a little bit of work but i was kind of expecting that anyway so that's pretty much it from me guys thank you very much for watching um i'm absolutely overjoyed with the result and to be perfectly honest it started up so much easier than i was expecting i know i've done the pre-bleed of the fuel system and i did assist it a little bit with some easy start but by that time with the cranking of the pre-bleed i had to assist it also with a battery booster it will now start on the dot without any hassle um but i'm not planning to have it running for any length of time purely and simply because whatever it's running the oil pump is pushing oil straight out of the side of the uh, vacuum pump so I need to sort out what's going on there I did put new o-rings on there but I'm guessing they're probably not quite as thick as I would need them to be or something's gone on or I've nicked it as I put it in I'm not entirely sure but just for the sake of a couple of new o-rings I'm like I say I'm absolutely chuffed thank you so much for watching Thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel all the way through and um, I will say bye for now. There will be another one of my amazing videos just up here and um, my YouTube subscribe icon will be just down here. Please consider subscribing as it helps the channel immensely. Take care guys, bye for now.